In last video, we discussed about Sun in the sign of Virgo. In this video, we are going to talk about what happens when you have Sun in the sign of Libra. So keep watching. Namaste and welcome to Pramanic Astrology channel. I'm your host Prasad Mahajani. Sun in the sign of Libra. Sun in the sign of Libra gets debilitated. But debilitated does not mean bad and exaltation does not mean good. In this video, we are going to deep dive into what exactly this energy is when we have Sun in the sign of Libra. For that, we need to know what is Sun, what is the sign of Libra and what happens when these two energies come together. The first thing which I feel about Sun is light. Sun is known by its light. And when you have light on something, you can see those things. So sun gives the vision. Sun gives the clarity. Sun gives vision as in what you are going to do as a strategy and planning. More so it also gives the path. It also signifies your vision about your path. It also signifies visibility. Visibility as in fame, the 10th house visibility, like you will be known person. Sun is also the karaka of the soul. It is also the karaka for the self-esteem, government authorities and more so anything wherein there is some governing force. That governing force is signified by sun. It also is the karka of anything which gives the structure like bones give structure to our body so bones are signified by sun the sign of libra when we are judging any sign we judge it with three aspect first the ruler of the rashi second is the element of the rashi and third is the mode of operation for that rashi for example, what is the difference between the Taurus and the Libra? Both are ruled by Venus. Then what is the difference? The difference is Taurus is ruled by Venus. It is fixed in nature and it is the Artha element sign. And Earth element sign. And about the Libra, Libra is ruled by Venus but it is air element and a cardinal sign and that is the difference between the venus rule two signs taurus and libra both are ruled by venus yet they are different today we are going to talk about the sign of libra the first thing which comes to my mind about libra is balance libra is all about balance harmony diplomacy artistic approach and intelligence because it is air element and more so it is also about the empathy sensitivity receptivity beauty and all the venusian significations as it is ruled by the air element it gives that sense of intelligence and this intelligence is to understand what is required and what is useless and what would be the effect if I get into this or I involved into this? Any project, any invitation, any action, when we are taking a decision, when a Libra person taking a decision, he is cautious about it. And when I say Libra person, it is like you have uh, the influence of Libra on your chart, like your ascendant is Libra, your sun is Libra, your moon is Libra. You have more planets in Libra. That's what I mean by the Libra person. It's not only about the Libra sun. Okay. So when you have the influence of Libra in your chart, it shows that a person is taking the right decisions because he now understands what exactly is happening and what is useful for me. What is useful? What is useless? Okay. If I do this, I'm going to be benefited. So I will do this. 
but I don't like this part of this project, so I'm not going to do that. So he won't do that, and that proves to be the most beneficial part. So these people are known to take the right decisions most of the times. Libra sign is also the sign of exchange, trade, and business. The sign of Libra is the holds the signification of the seventh house, which is the exchange of things between people. And that's what business is all about. Business is all about give and take. You give services to people, people will, give, will pay you for that. Or you pay to the people and people will give their expertise to you. That's what is business. And Libra is great at business. So now what happens when sun comes into the sign of Libra? Sun is the king. Sun likes to sit on the throne, give the orders and he loves when others obey. But here what, what's happening is sun is coming down into the house and the Rashi of other people. The first house is self, seventh house is other people. Same applies to Aries and Libra. They have the energies of first house and seventh house. So Libra sign is about the other people. I forgot to mention one of the profound characteristic of a Libra person is that they are aware of their social responsibilities and they have their opinion, social opinions. And once they are convinced about certain cause and issue, they will use all their contacts and rally the support for that cause. That is the significant characteristic of a Libra person. When sun comes into the sign of Libra, it is like coming down and mingling with people. It is not sitting on the throne anymore. Now you are putting the king into the subjects, into the common man. And he doesn't like that. And that's why it is considered as debilitated. Please, Prasad, tell me it is good or bad. I don't know. Why? We'll talk about that later in this video. Sun in the Libra. When sun comes into the sign of Libra, sun is all about authority and power. And the sign of Libra is the sign of other people. So it is like decentralizing the power. It is like distribution of the power. Rather than the concentration of the power like an authority, it is distribution of the power, giving more power to the people. That's what Sun in Libra is. Sun in Libra makes you travel. Seventh house and sign of Libra is one of the important signs when it comes to travel. And when we have the stable Sun into the seventh house, seventh house is about the endings. The planet of stability is coming into the house of endings and travel so it makes person travel and when the sun comes into the sign of libra the person has to take care of their health because sun is the karaka of your natural vitality and health apart from being all those soul self-esteem ego all that but health and vitality is one of the most important signification of sun as well. Now that is coming into the seventh house of Libra. When sun comes into the sign of Libra, the planet of the individual identity, ego, self-esteem and leadership like a king comes into the house of the common man, like the seventh house, the other people. Now this person loves to be in a group of people rather than being different standing out and leading from the front he likes to be in the group of people prasad my son is in libra so it is debilitated so please tell me is it bad or is it good exaltation doesn't mean good debilitation does not mean bad in fact i have seen fascinated fascinating results with debilitated planets maybe one day i will make a video on the debilitated planets i'm in love with the debil debilitated planets 
because I have seen these planets are giving excellent results because it is just the tiny little part of the story. You don't know where is the sun in D9, where is the lord of the Libra Venus is placed in D1 and D9, where is the Saturn, why Saturn? Because Saturn gets exalted into the sign of Libra. If this sun, the debilitated sun is accompanied and conjunct with the Saturn, it will cancel the debilitation as well. So I always look for these indications in the chart before concluding anything. When a planet is debilitated, it, it does great job with respect to the material pursuits. Like these people are great with material pursuits. If you have sun in the sign of Libra, remember sun is the planet of creativity. The planet of creativity coming into the sign of artistic talents. So those who have debilitated sun, those who have sun in the sign of Libra, have some kind of artistic talent to them and they can go long way with respect to these talents. So I have seen people with the sun in the Libra into the media and art industry as well like films, media, acting. These people does great. So when you see a debilitated planet, sun, always look for all these significations which we discussed earlier okay so yes this was sun in the sign of libra as much as i could hold grasp and share with you guys if you are new to my channel what to watch next if you are just starting into vedic astrology start your journey with how to get started into vedic astrology or rising sign playlist or you can go and watch the retrograde planets effect of retrograde planet series or you can go and watch the planets through houses series so yes this was sun in the sign of libra as much as i could hold grasp and share with you what to watch next if you are new to vedic astrology start your journey with how to get started into vedic astrology playlist or you can go and watch rising signs or ascendant playlist or go and watch the effects of retrograde planets playlist or you can start your journey with um, planets through houses series or you can go and watch Rahu Ketu series okay and if you have any question add me on Instagram at Pramanic Astrology I read all the DMs and I try to reply to almost all the DMs and if you have any question on any of the videos just go through to the relevant video and share your query in a comment section i read all the comments and i try to reply to almost all the comments sending you tons of positive energy sending you high vibrations see you in the next videos love and peace